coming to you live from the GPN studios. This is Guinea Pig News. Good evening. This is Dr. Patches O'Houlihan with Guinea Pig News. Our first story tonight brings us to the sunny state of Florida, where the COVID-19 virus is still ravaging the human world. Inexplicably, the governor of the state, Rick DeSantis, has ordered teachers and students back to the classroom, despite every single epidemiologist in the state saying this is a terrible idea. To explain the governor's reaction, we turn to veteran and highly esteemed correspondent, Mickey Wolfspitzer. Thank you, Mickey, for clearing that up for us. Our collective guinea pig hearts go out to those teachers and students. We guinea pigs are scared to death of dying of diseases. In international news, we turn to Lebanon, where a huge explosion rocked the capital city of Beirut on August 4th, where 27 tons of ammonium nitrate, the equivalent of 2.7 million guinea pigs, exploded near the port. We've heard reports that a fireworks factory was located nearby, which may have sparked the catastrophe. We turn now to our veteran on the scene correspondent, Eleanor G. Pig. Eleanor, what do you have for us? I'm so scared, Patches. There is rubble everywhere. I'm scared of rubble. But this is such a huge tragedy for this city. They are scared. I'm scared. Everything around me scares me. Now back to Patches. Um, okay. Uh, thank you, Eleanor. Since the explosion, Lebanese governing officials have been resigning in droves, including Prime Minister Hassan Diab and most of his cabinet members. International aid continues to pour in from sympathetic countries, though many Western powers, typified by U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, are attempting to tie this tragedy to Hezbollah, despite a lack of evidence. To explain the Secretary's position, we turn once again to esteemed Beltway reporter Mickey Wolf Spitzer. As always, truth in reporting Mickey. On a lighter note, the U.S. football season is gearing to start up next month despite a lack of in-person fans. The biggest off-season news comes in the form of number 12, Tom Brady, who has unexpectedly moved from his perennial home in New England and signed with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. To elucidate this gorilla iron gambit, let's go to GPN's gender-fluid sports correspondent, Princess T-Cat. Princess? Oh, I hate my job. Thank you, Princess. Wrapping up this week's broadcast, Democratic presidential presumptive nominee Joe Biden announced his VP pick to be none other than California junior Senator Kamala Harris. Fans of Harris, Harris point to the historic nature of this nominee, being the first African-American woman and Asian-American woman chosen for this honor. Critics, however, point to her checkered record as Attorney General and District Attorney of San Francisco, where she was, some say, less than progressive. We wish Senator Harris the best of luck. Well, folks, that wraps up our show for tonight. This is Dr. Patches O'Houlihan signing off.